Hello and welcome to another StarCraft 2 beta commentary. My name is Witty and I am bringing this 1v1 game on the Platinum Ladder. It's between myself as the Blue Serg and it's against Farrick as the Red Protoss. Now this is the map Kulas Ravine and uh, I basically wanted to show you something and that is Serg. Sergin. However you want to put it. It's something that's so key and crucial to StarCraft and StarCraft 2. It's of course the Serg Rush. Now, this involves getting the spawning pool as soon as possible. So the build I'm showing you at the moment involves building no drones at the start. Literally putting them straight onto minerals, getting up to 200 minerals. Once you've hit that, hit the spawning pool as soon as you can and then you can start to build a couple of drones. That's just to keep minerals coming because I won't be able to build Sergmins until that spawning pool has finished. So I'll get myself to probably about 7 out of 10 and then uh, that will allow me to have three foods worth of circlings, which will be six circlings. So that's two circlings per food unit. So as we can see, I'm saving it up. As soon as the spawning pool goes up, I should have almost 150, but not quite. As you can see, you have to wait another couple of few seconds, I'd say, before you can get that extra circling to come out. But otherwise, it's not a problem, really. This is as fast as you can literally do it, but whether it's as fast overall because I'll start to lose minerals after at some point and here we go the segments are on their way I scouted to the right and I sent a drone off to the north to basically find out now the quickest you can basically get to your enemy with a tro uh, probe drone or SCV if you're going from south straight up to north is 40 seconds if you're going cross map to top right or right down to the bottom right that would be 45 seconds I counted it time wise so, even if he did scout me, which he hasn't, it's very unlikely he'd be able to react fast enough. And he's built that fairly early, that gateway. It's not like that's a late gateway. That's a pretty standard field. And here I'm going straight for that pylon. That means that nothing can get built at that gateway. Everything has to be halted. So let's put the uh, HP bars on so you can see. Now I'm being very crucial here, trying not to lose any little circlings. A little bit of micro. Take out the probes. He is in big trouble here. He's got his plan on back again to keep the uh, sellers coming in. And he is going to be able to get one seller out. But will it be enough? Oh no. I'm he's bringing his probes in. That makes it very difficult to try and fight that seller. So I think, screw it. I'll just go for the pylon. Make sure that goes down. I do lose a few circlings. But that now is down. So there's no way he's going to be getting any forces back. He's going to take him a long time to get himself a gateway again. So all I've got to do is bide my time. So this is literally as fast as you can circling rush someone. And I think it's actually best to use it against Protoss. So really this is the best demonstration I can give you of just how effective it can be. Like I was saying, even if he scouts, it's very difficult to pick up. So um, yeah, I mean if he brought... That's going to take him 40 seconds to get to here and see the spawning pool. By which he probably would have done his gateway build anyway. Even if he sent the probe right off at the very start, he's not going to be able to build that gateway much earlier. Let's just check when he did build the gateway, actually, out of curiosity. That was the GG, by the way. He did just leave there. So we can see, Pylon going down. He's doing his normal scout. Goes for the bottom right, which is odd. Usually he would go straight down south, but he's kicking himself. But let's say, for example, by the time the probe hits here, that's when he would have been able to see the spawning pole. So, right about now. Now the spawning pool is basically up and he's gone to build his gateway anyway. So that's the reaction you would normally have. If you saw, the, if you saw that spawning pool, the split second you saw it, especially if it was very, very nearly finished, you would go straight to gateway, straight to it. And he basically did build the gateway as soon as that spawning pool went up, which is roughly when the probe would have seen it anyway, when he did scout. So the only way, thing you could have done better there, I guess, was to... Um, send off a probe right at the start, which isn't very economical, and you're not going to expect many Sergs to do this. So, just out of curiosity, just out of curiosity, going back again, just find out what food can it was he built. Oh, that is an early gateway. Twelve food. You do not build a gateway much earlier than that. Honest to God, you just don't. So really, there was really very, very little he could do here because he actually built that gateway earlier than usual. I mean, I play products myself and usually I will push it to about 14 food, maybe even 15 food if I'm going to get myself a simulator as well. Going for the cybernetics core and then 
mercy sentries and all that sort of stuff. I'm not going to get too far into that, but yeah, 12 food gateway is very early for a Protoss gateway. Even if he scouted, he would have only got it at like about 11 food, so um, as you can see, let's go back to the battle just so you can see it again if you want to. It is basically no way he could stop this, even if he did get the gateway um, a bit earlier. So this is basically a full-on risk strategy. Absolutely. I mean, it's very, very good to do on a 1v1 map, and this is actually a 2v2 map. But I got a bit lucky with him being straight north. It's only another five seconds I'll have to wait to get to him, but that five seconds could be the crucial key point of whether I would win the game or not. So as we can see, there's nothing he can do, really. There's too many circlings. He only managed to get one seller out. The second seller isn't even close to being finished. So what could he honestly do in this situation? I honestly don't think, no matter whether he was the best player in the world, whether there was any way to truly stop this. Now I'm not going to say it's broken, because to be quite frank it's such a risky strategy that if it goes wrong, then you've lost already. But it is almost worth the risk, because that is like a guaranteed win. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I can't believe I didn't post something like the Serg Rush a lot earlier. I mean, it's only just occurred to me today. I mean, what on earth? So, there you go. There is the fastest circling rush you can possibly do imaginable. And you can win within 4 minutes and 47 seconds if you're against the Protoss. There you go. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Witty. Please subscribe, rate and comment. Thank you and bye.